I am a child of this universe. You are a child of this universe. Turn to someone, whether you know them or not, with all the love in the world and say, you are a child of this universe. Turn to someone else and say, you are a child of this universe. And because, because we are a child of this universe, the sky's the limit. The sky is the limit. Do you know that we're made of stardust? In our DNA is stardust. If that doesn't prove that we are a child of the universe, I don't know what is. But perhaps there's more to understand about that. But the first place that I really want to start today is to talk about the universe. And the universe is abundant. It is abundantly clear that the universe is abundant. Everywhere you turn, everywhere we look, everywhere we see, any article we read, especially if we're into those astronomers and, and the sky and what's beyond, you know, this solar system, this Milky Way, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, leaves on a tree, blades of grass, you know, everywhere we turn, there is proof screaming at us, the universe is abundant. In fact, its natural state is that of abundance. Not being abundant would be unnatural for the universe. It'd be totally unnatural. It is the natural state of this universe to be abundant. So I want to I focus this morning for the sake of all of us here and watching uh, on, on two examples to pull in all the limitless examples of how this universe is abundant. Size and stars. Pretty cool things, size and stars. So the observable, that which we can see, the scientists tell us that the observable universe appears to go back in time by about 13.8 billion years. Okay, that's, that's a long, 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 long way back there. And they suspect beyond what we can see is so much more. It could be even more than 13.8 billion years, but we don't know because we can't see it. So some astronomers actually believe that we may live in a multiverse, that there may be multiple universes here. And so, you know, universes like ours may be contained in some sort of larger container. They don't even know. But think of a multiverse. Now we're not even uni anymore. So that's one example. The other example is the stars. And if we take the galaxies, um, there was a time there was one galaxy. Far, far away. <laughs> I digress. Come back. Now there's 10 trillion, not one, 10 trillion galaxies. Okay, that just blows my mind. And so as an example of how to figure out how many stars there are, because there's all, if you start reading, well, you can get lost in all the methodologies and all the, what the astronomers think, and sometimes they're in debate is how many stars there are, because it's really challenging to figure this out. But if we just take our Milky Way, our current Milky Way, they say there's a hundred billion stars in our Milky Way. So if we use that as a reference point and multiply that to all the other galaxies, including ours, do you know what that gives us? 
a pretty darn big number. It's one with 24 zeros. I have no idea how to say that. Okay, that's a lot of stars. And we're made of stardust. So would you agree by at least these two examples that the universe is abundant? Yes. 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 So all of nature, all of nature is forever moving and expanding and growing and evolving. This universe itself is expanding. And guess what, folks? That universe includes me. And that universe includes you. Everything is growing and expanding and evolving. It's not staying the same. And because it includes you, and you, and you, and you, and you, it means that you are not meant to just survive. You're not meant to stay stagnant. You're not meant to settle. I'll say it. You're not meant to settle. <laughs> oh, you got a finger point out of me. That's big. <laughs> You're not. You're meant to keep growing. You're meant to keep expanding. You're meant to thrive. Yeah. Thrive. Thrive. You're one of them. Thrive, right? And so... You're really intended and meant and have been all along. You're meant to reach the fullest expression of you that is you. The fullest expression of you that is you. Because you are a child of this universe. A child of this universe. You are a star. You're a bright light. And you're unique. You're one and the only one of those one with all those zeros. And so if we're made of stardust and it's in our DNA, then we're intended to reach our fullest expression of who we came here to be. Okay, buckle up. You ready? Because I want you to hear this. Now more than ever, now more than ever, we need you. We need you to thrive. Breathe that in. Now more than ever, we need you to thrive, not just survive. Our world right now needs as many compassionate, creative, big-hearted, conscious people to be living an abundant life. It does. To be thriving financially. Because as we each thrive financially, whatever that means to each of us, I mean thrive. And let go of the survive, the just getting by. When we each are thriving in our own lives, abundantly and prosperously, we no longer have to place our attention on that, and we get to place our attention on bringing our whole self to this world, and that's a lot of good. Yeah. We no longer place our attention on where is my rent check coming from, mm. or my car payment. Yes. We're able to bring our full self and our gifts to the world, We've been fed some stuff that's messed us up. Imagine, perhaps this would be even more helpful to you. I just invite you to close your eyes. Just go within, in this vast universe. And imagine, if you and all the people you love and respect had an abundance of money, If they 
and you could afford to spend it on themselves and others and on saving our planets, this planet, in ways to uplift every single person here involved in whatever that looks like. Imagine. And in this moment, just really begin to envision this as if it pertains to yourself. And all those spectacular people you know in your life. Take just a little clump of them right now. I invite you. Just bring them into your heart. Take them one by one. And imagine how they'd feel. Who they'd become if they were financially thriving. What contributions might they make to the world and everyone around them? If you're willing, come back into the room with us. Take a deep breath. Trust your desires. Trust that which you want. Embrace the fact that having more financial abundance will truly allow you to be more of who you really are and who you came here to be. You are meant to thrive. You are meant to thrive. There is so much proof around us. Why are we the exception in the entire universe? And by thriving, what you get to do is you absolutely help others thrive too. Think about it. Think about you standing next to someone who's being totally who they are, who's lit up with life, who goes for it fully, I mean fully, wholeheartedly, who absolutely believes anything is possible, who is excited to be on this adventure of being a bright light in this universe, that this person not only wants to succeed, but they want to be prosperous and they want to be generous. Imagine that person standing next to you right now. They get to basically be, do, and have all the things and the experiences to make them most themselves. If you were standing next to that person, would you be inspired to go do it too? Yeah. Like maybe you could go do it. Lift a car right now. You're so inspired. Whatever. The impossible. That's why we need you to do this. So that someone else can stand next to you. You be that person. You be that inspiration for someone to go, well, if, if they can do that, I can do it too. Because your gifts, your talents, your heart's desire, your passion, what you have to bring to this universe, we need it. And you are meant to thrive. And you are meant to share the unis with the world as only you can. So, here's a personal request. Please, oh please, oh please, let go of any false belief. Like a dust bunny you've picked up along the way. Someone screamed it in your face. Someone silently or, or didn't even say it, but in their actions, repeated something over and over and you decided to believe it. You, you, you've heard in the past, why do they put filthy rich together? Mm. <laughs> why? Any false belief, just pick one that you know you've got about thriving and financial abundance. 
It's time once and for all to let that go. Just burn it up right now today. Just say no. Because it's only putting a limit on what you financially receive. And there is no limit. There is no limit to us. And if the sky's the limit, just saying, if the sky's the limit, that's okay. It's 13.8 billion light years away. It's a mighty high sky out there. So through this community, through our conversations, through our classes, free ones too. I know we will once and for all stop passing this on generation after generation after generation. And today we're only talking about financial abundance. Because we are meant to thrive. And so I brought a little affirmation to get it in our bones, to get it in our self, to like go, yes. So are you ready? Yes. Great. If you want to stand, you can. I'm a kinesthetic person, if you hadn't noticed. If you don't, that's okay too. But bring it into your bones, however you bring it into your bones. We're going to say this together. Here we go. Just as there is an abundance of substance in the universe, today I have total faith that substance is taking form in my affairs. This substance takes the form of financial abundance. My financial abundance is increased and multiplied, and the good that goes from me is also increased and multiplied. The sky's the limit on the good I receive and give. And so it is.